Jasper, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, should that charge right away, or should it just... You can do it straight up, up to you. So it's your finals. Then talk at the end. You talk at the end? Yep. So we need to DJ another time. <laughs> Jesper Nielsen was, uh, is coming from Denmark, he was winning last year, as I told you, the IWCC and he is going maybe with the Team Austria to the World Finals to Cape Town, South Africa in three weeks or four weeks. Maybe you go with our association. Yeah, I think so. You, you, sure, have, yeah. to, you have to do it. <laughs> because Monet was uh, sponsoring last year the trip to Cape Town, South Africa and he was the winner, so anyway, in three weeks we are riding to Cape Town. Gonna be a nice Jesper is coming from Denmark, from Copenhagen. Copenhagen is one of the. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Copenhagen is one of the center in the bar scene and the mixology scene. There are many really nice mixologists and really nice bars. <laughs> Jasper, um, I have a few questions to be honest. Um, my first question I recognize it often. When you're chilling your shakers, I don't know why you're chilling a shaker. Please, I can't understand it. Please explain it to me. Um, I'm chilling it because it's the way I'm. You learn it? Yeah. Um, it's a stupid question. No, it's not a stupid question. No, it's not a stupid question at all. Don't fuck the finalists. Can, can I, I'm not fucking my finalists. Maybe I can I don't know it. May, may I answer? Yes, please. The reason you chill a shaker is when you do your cocktail, the tin are cold, so you don't dilute your eyes too fast in the procedure of shaking your cocktail. Thank you very much, Denmark. Yeah. All right, Germany, everything is all right now? Okay. No, we have an ultimate <laughs> on this. If you need a training girls, come down. No, no, no. The Euro is good in this. Of this. <laughs> no. um, the next question is um, of your garnish. You wrote that you made food pairing. Yeah, like um, apple ground, lime, red bull, cannot, come to popcorn with triple corn, food pairing. Can you explain to all of us what is food pairing? Maybe it's interesting for the audience. Food pairing for me is, um, there's actually two ways to refine it. One way is to um, add some of the ingredients uh, to the cocktail, uh, so you can compare it into a food. Uh, the way I did it this turn is because uh, I made a contrast into everything. So I add the triple salt of popcorn as a contrast to the cocktail. Cool, thank you. Um, we talked earlier about your Red Bull, uh, I call it syrup. It's syrup. Yeah. I think it's really interesting to hear again for the guests what have you done? Because it was an interesting story with the sour part, what happens with the Red Bull when you reduce it and you put sugar in it? Um, I started out with it because I thought there was so much sugar in it already. <coughs> so I thought I wanted to boil it out and see what happens when I boil it down. Like, just like you told us in the class, try something out, look at the errors. Um, this time it was too sour, so I couldn't use it as a syrup. Um, so I started to put some new sugar in it, just a random amount. Um, then I found out that I had I could actually use the sourness and the sugar and to make make it more into a syrup in that way and make it more thick. Um. Okay, I'll give you some words in German as well because some of the guys are new here. Um, Jasper was making uh, was making a homemade Red Bull um, syrup. And he was uh, cooking the syrup, he was re reducing the syrup, and he was adding some sugar and some mint as well. So in the end he got a really nice, uh, amazing uh, red uh, sugar syrup. But then I find out I actually missed 
some kind of flavor in the cocktail. Um, something in the back of my mouth. I thought my inspiration is Istanbul, and you meet um, Asia in Istanbul as well. So I thought, why not Chile? But I had to find a way to add Chile into my cocktail and uh, be sure that I get the same result every time. So why not add it into my homemade red salt syrup? And I have a question. So the syrup now is not trial and error anymore. You have the exact recipe written down. Sorry? Do you have an exact recipe written down so you can repeat the syrup again and again? Yeah, actually, yeah. Thank you. Are you confused from Denmark? No, it's, it's actually, it's like, no, this is not a him, it's actually a him because we it's have a... Ah, uh, against well, Germans? Germans. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand this. Yeah. 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 I can give you the recipe if you want. I'd love to, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, yes. Um, He's it's stealing four, yours. Four deciliters of uh, Red Bull. The red, regular Red Bull. And then, um, it's... Uh, 200 grams of sugar, four mint drops, and then um, you add the chili without the. Yeah, exactly. And then. Um, so in the Red Bull uh, sugar syrup, there is um, there is mint, there is sugar, there is reduced Red Bull, and there is uh, chili as well. Yeah, that's it. And then you infuse it for 24 hours or? No, so you can do it in one hour. One hour, But right. you have to, when you have the, the chili in to the pot, you have to uh, stamp it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you don't get enough chili five out of it. So Jasper, now the Vertisi Cup is existing since uh, 19 years and um, not even one competitor uh, were doing the, his victory a second time. So what do you think about the drink? I think I was trying it at midday. It was quite good. What's your feeling about that? Of my character? Yeah. When I prepared it at home, I actually thought I needed something extra because it's not even similar to the one I made last year. But then, at, like the day before I sent in the recipe, uh, I changed the, the bitter from a grapefruit into, a, into the um, rhubarb because I wanted it to be a little more sweet. Um, and that's what I got with the flavor from the rhubarb. Just to explain to you the, the perfect surf of Denmark, he was doing a million nice cases from the Red Bull cans, yeah? Those are Red Bull cans, branded with IWCC 2014. And not even the Red Bull cans are here at his boxes. He was doing the syrup as well, I told you before. Really nice idea. So Jasper, I think you're fine, you're finished. Yep. Half a minute more. I should talk something about my inspiration. Yeah, this, this would be fine. Um, the inspiration is uh, Istanbul, rich versus poor, which is I told in my recipe. Can I present your drink for the cameras as well? One drink? Yeah. Only for the cameras? You can speak about the inspiration later on, don't worry about this. Which camera? Uh, next to you, the back. <laughs> and this is the video too. So Jasper, tell me something, tell us something, something about the inspiration. Yeah, my inspiration starts um, with a trip to Istanbul this summer. Um, and I was amazed about getting there, all the impressions, all the spices when you go to the spice market um, I thought this could really be interesting I have never done something like this um, and then I had to find a theme and I thought Istanbul and when I was walking down the streets in Istanbul you could walk down one street and it was so rich and you had all the nice shops around turn around the corner and then everything's just poor um, and I like the contrast between rich and poor and uh, so that's what I wanted to complement into my uh, cocktail. 
So we have the bridge present by the the cocktail itself, the glass spoon with the symbol of uh, editor, which stands for innovation. I wanted to innovate the the way I present my cocktail, and also it's really important in the cocktail world to come with new stuff. Um, as a contrast to that, I have the apple stair, slightly burnt, uh, symbolizing the cool man's food. Because uh, when you walk down the street, you can smell a lot of food being prepared, but most of it is uh, on a grill. So it's always kind of slightly burnt, but it's usually really good. And mostly, that's where you get the good food. Um, and then, um, because there's so many people who's uh, making art of something trashy, then I thought, what can I do with the Red Bull can? I already used it the inside, what can I do with the outside? So, as an inspiration for the poor people who are making their own toys, I wanted to make a beautiful box and present it to you in that way. Um, and then we have the truffle salted uh, popcorn, which is normally for poor people. <laughs> if you don't got that many cash for snacks. Um, <laughs> but by adding truffle salt to it, you make it into a thing you can have in a luxury restaurant. So that's the contrast story. Enjoy. Thank you, Chesper Nielsen, the finals. Chesper Nielsen from Denmark.